<laughs> Woo! Ten years, right? Huh. How's it been? <laughs> I've married you, oh, but I've married you for ten years. <laughs> oh, this is so quite tough, yeah. <laughs> ten years. <laughs> Hey, man. Does it feel like you've been married for 10 years? Well, I don't know. So we're asking people who are watching. I, I, I've been married, just been, it's been going. But casting my mind back now, you know, it's been very eventful. The, the highs and the lows, you know, it's been like a total ride, all the comparison. It's been quite interesting. Looking back now in, in, in retrospect, it's even more interesting. Because the things that now make the memory fun are those moments that when we were in those moments, it didn't look like, I mean, it was like hell. But looking back now, it, it forms part of the, of the swell time and the good memories. I mean, it's, it's been very, very interesting. So what would you say is the most interesting memory that the past 10 years has served you, you know? Wow, most interesting memory. Yeah. Huh. Ah, for me, every day, every day has been beautiful memories, you know. But ah, uh, ah, this is a difficult one. Anyways, ah, maybe Tinapa. Tinapa was like <laughs> ten years ago. Oh, we did it. That was good for people to do on your moon. Oh, that's terrible. How <laughs> can you say that now? Ah. Uh. I'll take offense. Like I said, you, what you're saying is that after uh, our wedding, there's not been anything interesting again. It means that, oh, that everything has been boring. No, 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 no. I take offense. How can I say that? Tina, I went to Tinapa a few days after our wedding. That's been the most interesting part of the wedding. So the only moon is still there now. No, 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 no. That's not. That, I take offense. All, 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 all the horses, all the horses, you, you, you <laughs> miss it. That's really the trial now. No, no, oh, no. God, God, I don't know. Okay, let me, let me see. Uh, uh -uh. I always say to him, I always tell him that he's like his father God, that he doesn't change. I would say that he hasn't changed much. I mean, we did it for nine years and um, nine years relationship and then ten years in marriage. I would say that those traits I saw back then, he still has those traits like he's a firm person, you know. It's just that over time I would say that he's better at those things now. Can I say this? <laughs> okay. Well, what, what I like about this whole thing is that all these accolades that they, they refuse to give me, I'm getting them now. <laughs> all the accolades. It's coming now very well. Uh, uh, magic that is how they try. <laughs> you didn't change okay. much. Okay. For you, um, you have always been a bunch of adventure, you know, like, oh, like yeah. a pack of drama. Oh yeah. Drama <laughs> queen. Always been. Well, it's been a pack of drama, and uh, I mean, life would be very boring without all those um, moments. So it's not an a la carte. Everything comes, everything is is served together. So we don't have the choice to pick what we want. So everything comes together, and I learned to to serve and enjoy all that the package presented. You know, the highs, the lows, the dramas, the pleasant, the bitter, the sweet, the sour. <laughs> and all the surprises, so it all adds up to, 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 to the phone. Like th there are certain things all through the, the past ten years. I've been, I keep talking about same thing, same thing, same thing. Where do you keep my comb? Where do you keep my comb? I still keep my comb. Every day. <laughs> ten years, I still keep my comb every day. I didn't comb my hair, guys. I didn't comb my hair. I've learned to manage it, you know. Now people don't really change, you know. I don't care less about those things that used to care so much, but the things that used to get me all infuriated or infuriated or whatever, I care less about them. Like now, I just I don't can't find my comb. I use my hand and fix the hair. I mean, I don't care. I'm married. I'm looking at nobody. So I've learned to care less about some of those things and enjoy the drama and and those careless carelessness, careless, very very careless moments. I knew you're a very meticulous person. It's been that way. No, I'm I'm less meticulous now. Hmm. I'm less no, I'm less meticulous. I hmm. I've learned to. I should, to care I should be the one saying that. I, I've learned to care less about things that used to be a big deal. You know, like who poured this water here, all these kind of things. Uh -huh. uh, who took my my, my towel? Who where, where where's my ring? I've been looking at my ring since I just. Uh -huh. 
I'm going to tell us about this thing. There's one person that who took it. It's too weak. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he calls me Chiwike, I know there's a problem. <laughs> you know what I hear Chiwike? Oh my God, I'm like, what have I done? The kitchen door, let me close the kitchen door. Something every day, every day, every day. That is you must say Chiwike. <laughs> Chiwike. Actually, it was 2003. Uh, 2000, I'm not very, very apt with, with dates. You know, data. It, uh, Dates are women things, really, but uh, I'm not very apt. Okay, not, uh, don't take offense. I'm not very apt to date. But 2003, uh, Unizik. Um, yes, Unizik. We were freshers on campus, Castle. It was a campus fellowship then. So, um, we were supposed to be on the choir together on a freshers day, a freshers Sunday in church or at the campus fellowship. So, she, she brought this, this funny song. Uh, Tata Kulumuna to Chia Kana Luka. Yeah, eh. You know, so, you know, this song was funny. I, I've always been a straight jacketed, more of an official <laughs> kind of guy. So, I mean, what was what, Tata Kulumu? So, I, I didn't like the song. I brought my own song there. There was a trust in the Lord. And they chose a song that is so loaded. So, I, I won that first contest. It was my song that we did on that day. Kechi Yata, Nel, what's the new team? Okay, yes. New team, Ebu, and all our friends then. So I, I did the song as a little. So she was angry with me. Who is this guy like, that, that has come to beat her at her game? No, she has always been a superstar, seeing what she wants, all this stuff. I mean, uh, village champion, not superstar. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> well, village champion. <laughs> all along. So that's how it started. It was a little confrontational. And we kept rolling. Uh, gradually, then I had this friend. Uh, I guess in Kishigata, we were friends then, so we used to go and visit her at a lodge. Nothing serious, gradually we just started getting to, to know each other. Then many things happened. Uh, fast forward, I was the head of the, lib uh, the library unit. I needed some people who would join me as a librarian to do book reviews. And guess who I chose? Yes. Yes, yeah. truly. <laughs> <laughs> then along to our Prince Win Dubeze, he's a pastor of Winner's Chapel now. So then. We still getting very close. I think that's just what um, facilitated the, the relationship. Then we grew from 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 friends to to lovers, and um, everything then took the flight. Strong question. At what point? Okay, I think after after NYC. Hey, Mobo. Yes, now I was at NYC. No, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008. Six years, and my faith was dangling. I'm sorry. No, I knew, I knew, I knew from. Uh -huh. That's a man for you. From the word go. Okay, I made up my mind 2005 December. Wow. We went to Aba when uh, our friend uh, Yaja lost the father. So we went, uh, Ozuma, Ihan, Yurika and I went to Aba to, to see Ihan Yaja. So after, we, we, after seeing him, we went to see a friend again, Josiah, he's a pastor, and I went to see Josiah. So they were discussing, you know, uh, th these were guys who were seemingly, uh, I don't know the word, they, they were ahead. So they were discussing about issues of women, of relationship, and all this stuff. And something that Josiah said, Josiah said, that, I mean, as guys on campus, they were looking for trophy babes, you know, babes who, when they pass, head, return, you know, all this kind of stuff. But when the chips are down, you're not looking for a trophy, you're looking for a girl that you can settle down with and get married to, you know, a simple girl. Um, so why they were saying that, and they're talking about their own relationships, I was just having my own retrospect. I said, whoa, a girl that you can settle down with, live a simple life. I knew. It was Anita, 2005 December, and it was Anita, and I made up my mind. Then, this was uh, three, um, four, like, like three years into uh, our, our friendship, then I made up my mind she was the one. And once I did case closed, everything kept opening and unraveling, but I had made up my mind that was, that was the person. It's funny how you made up your mind 2005 and I made up my mind 2008. I mean, I've, I've never been a very pushy person. That is why people think 
that I don't have ambition. So I'm, I'm not a very pushy person. I my not being pushy is because I get settled about things almost very. Uh, I'm very intuitive, very very cerebral. You can say very spiritual. I've not I've never been seen as a spiritual person because I don't do all the all the spooky spiritual stuff. But she I, no, I don't do all these kind of things. <laughs> but I knew this was a person, and I have settled it. So I was like, settle with your own conviction. I will settle with mine. I will not push you. I will not be a manipulative person, never. So settle with your own conviction. Go through your own journey. So when the parents, her mother, oh my, my mother and the wonderful woman, when all the battles kept raging, because I was very, very uneventful. I didn't look like, like, like it's, I didn't look like it. So when all the battles kept raging, you know, more eligible guys who had all the accolades kept coming and I was very settled. I told that fight the battle, fight your battle. I, I fight, fought my own battle of, of I believe in life. Every man must fight their, their battle of their conviction. Opinions are easy. But your conviction, you must fight the battle for your conviction. I had fought my own, I was convinced such a run out. So I wasn't bothered even when all the Sincerely, no. No regrets, I must say. Um, like I mentioned, I tell my husband, but it's the Jesus that I see. He is. He is. And I mean it. I sincerely mean it. My husband is new every morning. Breaks their face There are times when we quarrel. This minute we are quarreling, and the next minute is all over me, and I'm like, hello. I'm supposed to be quarreling. And then he's, he's acting all. I don't understand which quarrel. Sincerely, I don't get it. Um, 2013, 2012, 2013, when we got married, those first two years were very crazy. Very crazy. It wasn't about her, it was about me and about this, this new contraption that I found myself in. And I mean, other ancillary conditions that should have made the whole uh, marriage journey palatable or bearable, yes. We're not there. Things were rough, there was no money, uh, business was small and slow, and um, I mean, my emotions were, were, were running riot, I was unsure of myself. So at the point I, I, I was like, what did I do? I mean, are you, am I sure I should have done this in the first place? It wasn't about if I, if, I, if I should have married her, but I should have got married in the first place. So then it was frustrating for me. Then, incidentally and unfortunately, and most expectedly, I turned that frustration to her. It was like, you, you, you got me into this. We were lovers. She wasn't a stranger. We've been in love for nine years before we got married. So, I mean, like I always say, she moved from the object of my uh, of my admiration, of my fantasy, to my my reality. So it was like dream come true. And this song was to sing then, uh, I can't believe it, you're a dream coming true. Uh, I mean, I have a cache of love songs that appealed our, our relationship with. But after the after the wedding, after we got married. I was unsure of this whole thing. So at the point I wished I wanted out. Not because of her, but I, I just didn't want to marriage thing. So I was frustrated and it spilled on her. So she was always crying. I was I couldn't care less about uh, whatever I was. I was just I was losing it. Then while that was we were that our first son Leo came, things were still very rough. Then this was a young man. I was just, I just turned, uh, I was turned 13, I was 29. Okay. That's about, I think, yeah. No, no, no. I think I just, when the year came, I had just turned 13. So things were rough. Business was small and slow. Uh, and my wife, too, a young girl, new mother. Business was slow, too. She had expectations were not coming through. So it's like all our frustration too were me. It was just a roller coaster. That was the first few years. 
first two years, crazy. So when you say, was there a time when I wanted out? Yes, those first two years, I wasn't sure of it. But along the line, I, it's something that I did that's helped me cope. I always reminded myself that this was the girl that you could give the world for when you were going after her. I always reminded myself that this is the girl that, I mean, I cried about her with Jesus. Because you know, yes. like, it's when we had our most turbulent uh, with you in a relationship, I cried about her. Then and now, whenever I think, okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm past that period. But at that time, whenever things were not going well, I remember saying, this was the girl you could give the world, you would give the world to get. It's still that simple. And when I'm looking at her, it's still simple. That, that, that helped me survive <laughs> that early days till I grew up, became more mature, and dealt with all those feelings up and down. And, and now, when she's getting like, I look at her. Can I have angry with this girl? That's it. Mm, he likes um, fufu and the gusi soup. He likes fufu and the uh, half and soup. I'm not sure what I like. Uh, he likes beans. beans we play the dried fish. Beans. Mm. When it comes to food, it's very boring. It doesn't. It's just here and there, you know. But we give him a good day with soup with fufu or vegetable soup. Okay, not vegetable soup, half and soup with fufu or beans, plenty dry fish. There are many things I can like. Okay, not so many, a few things I can like. But the problem is that those, those few things have to be made more. And can be difficult. Very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah, we. <laughs> She doesn't know. Love her. Uh, act of service was a formation of gifts. Yes. Well, she's not big on gifts. Act, act of, of service, service is. Formation, exactly. Act of service was a formation. Act of service is number one. Words of formation, and second. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I always feel, I don't know if it's a good thing, I always feel I'm a teacher. I don't do so much service for her. I do one or two times and I want her to learn and become a better person. She doesn't understand that. When she asks me to do things for her, I do the first time and I want her to do it the second time and master it. She's angry. There's always uh, where uh, altercation starts from. When she wants me to do an act of service for her and I do the first time and I want her to be, I want to be independent to know sort things out. And so she feels that I'm not caring and all those stuff. So, but I want to be independent. But act of service was a confirmation. And I'm a boring person, I'm very clear. I don't talk so much. Yes, I don't talk so much. So she wants me to talk, keep talking, keep yakking, keep going. And I just want, I'm a more um, cerebral, deep thinking, calm, easy going. And she's too quick. How was that? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Many things. He loves shoes. Everybody that does because they lose, he loves shoes. And then he, he tells me, babe, can I just go get a particular pair of shoes? And I'm like, just one pair of shoes. And then he goes there and comes back with two pairs. You know, not even to, so a particular day he went and came back with three or four. And then he was hiding one and the wife is going to kill it today. <laughs> wait, wait, let me ask you something. See, I mean, how, how does a young man go to the market and you see beautiful gorgeous shoes and you leave them in the market how how do you do that i mean shoes are like people for me so they need you to take them off the shelf take them home take care of them and 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 treat them the way good shoes should be treated so i just see myself as doing doing nature this this noble favor really yes mm. and then it's so meticulous the way he, he arranges his bed and every time he's saying there's sand on this bed. He could, just, he could just be sleeping and just jump up. There's, there's sand on this bed. In the middle of sleep, you wake up and dust the bed. Dust, dust the bed, arrange the bed. Where is the sand coming from? Oh, a Where is the sand coming from? You arrange the bed. I didn't want to say it, but I mean, you said it earlier. He's always arranging, arranging towels, arranging everything. Oh my God. He's, he's a melancholy and phlegmatic. I'm sanguine. You know, I like to just live my life, you know. <laughs> Ah. <sighs>
That is how I arrange my boxers. Next thing you now see that that I am my boxers. I'm grateful for love. The best thing that happened to me after salvation is my husband. I'm grateful for love. Like, I can't thank God enough for a good spouse. I'm grateful for the journey and the path that life has taken us through, that God has permitted us to, or taken us through. Really grateful. Everything has added together, has worked, added up to, to make this journey an interesting one so far. And I'm truly grateful. A wonderful children. Amen. I'm grateful. Thank you.